Hey there everyone, how's it going? It's all the, all the Angry Nerd again today. And we're playing some more Quantum Break. And uh, this is going to be a little different of an episode compared to um, the ones I've already uploaded. So, uh, I've, I've already beat the game now. Like, this is an episode from the future, pretty much. And, uh, yeah, uh, my thing corrupted. My, uh, what episode is this? I think it's like 7. Seven or six. I think. Yeah, I think it would be seven. Yeah, it would be seven. So, uh, I'm just completely redoing this chapter, even though I beat it. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, like, I'm not gonna spoil anything, because, uh, you know. But, uh, yeah, this is an episode from the future, so it's like I already know what's gonna happen, so... Excuse me. <laughs> if I don't sound too like, oh, like, that's so surprising that this happened, or whatever, it's like, yeah, it's I've already seen it. I'm not gonna lie, this game ended really good. Like, I thought the acting and everything was pretty decent, but, um... To, to me, the ending, like, I'm not gonna spoil it, because it's like, episode 7. Um... Pretty much how this felt to me was like it, it felt kind of like how Alan Wake did. It, it was really good, go so and then it just kind of ended. Eh. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the. But future. I love this game. Like it's Dr. really Alan good. Like it, it it has that Alan. Is Wake the lifeboat feel even in a viable it. state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. And that's what made Why? me like really enjoy this, this game. The people opposing you. She could be one of And I get to keep everything too. She okay, isn't. cool. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? Let me see. I wanna check and see if I can I keep all my abilities and stuff. Let me clean Because yeah, like I pretty much like this did everything. Up. Like, um But but to me how I feel about it was uh the, the, the game is really good. Like I love the gameplay. The like it's so fun. Attention. Like but um People working against you. Who was that on the radio? We're still working on that. I've actually never tried that. There we go. Give me that shit. I saw the footage of your speech. There we go. They tried to get to you. I warned you we were compromised. But yeah, it was a it was there a pretty good game for what it was. Feel. Like this game had a lot of awesome moments or whatever, but they they kind of leave you on you somewhat of a proceed? cliffhanger, and that's what kind of annoyed me. They they pulled an Alan Wake. Where it was like, um, was how Alan Wake me. was just like, oh, Somebody we're close. we're in a lake or Martin something Hatch. like that. Like I, I don't know. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. It was kind of the same thing, I guess. Amaral. How it's it ended. It was just like cliffhanger to whatever. Evidence was mounting against. And Sophia. then then they teased towards I another game. Ignore it, despite everything we had been through. And. I don't really need to collect the collectibles, because I think I, I got 100% on this level already, so... And also, too, what I was going to say, what I forgot to tell, is, um, It's not hard to not find all the collectibles on here, because you just need to press Y, and you can see all the collectibles. That's what kind of made this game kind of cool with that. So you're not Martin really into, uh, for years. like, looking online, I like, you can pretty much see everything, Sophia's and that's loyal. what kind of makes it cool. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure, like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. Yeah, um... Sophia this game is like really good. fun. Like I loved judgment. all the play styles and everything. And final preparations to activate the life um, um, it's once. a really enjoyable game fun. that I'll I really suggest a lot of people to play. No, I think I'll do that myself. Better at least watch. Like you know, if you're into games with like decent stories or whatever, like this is a really good game for you. Sir, like to me, Hatch. legit. Like I stayed up for a couple hours I just beating the game. Yes, sir. You got it. 
and um, we pulled some images like just from the just trying out like new We've play identified styles Joyce's or whatever. Accomplice. She's Beth Wilder, one of our mid-level operatives. But, um, yeah, no, it's like it's really fucking good. I I love this game. My like I, I feel kind of sad that I had to come back because I thought it was like I was done. But where is she now? What well, can no. you do though? But we've got a kill team tracking her. No, 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 no. Some she days, pretty killed. much. Not yet. Oh shit! Find her. And whatever Mr. Hatch does, I want to know about it. Some days you think something's Don't just good, like it's all taken care of or whatever, and then it's like you you get back on or you get back up, and you're just like, God damn it, no, it's wilder. not. <laughs> That's pretty much what happened to me. But she had been there in the past. Yeah, I'm gonna take that sniper rifle. I I, I didn't even get that much gameplay in with the sniper it. rifle. But um, you know, give me that assault rifle. We're gonna come back. But uh, but She'd yeah, been there the whole time. It's a uh, yeah, this game's fucking awesome. Inside. I just it, it feels like they copped the out one. at the end. Like even the ending boss fight wasn't too great. I love that line. Don't fall into the shark tank. And and I'm not gonna lie, they they left a lot of questions unanswered. Like um, to to me, like the main bad guy is the black guy because um, Paul is just kind of that dude that was the main bad guy. But you just find out more later down the road that this dude's like super terrible, and um, he's kind of what is that? Coronal disrupted. Ah, yeah, he's he's not a, he's not a great person. Like in general. Let's go! But uh, yeah, like the CGI and everything was like really great with this game. The uh, the actual movie things were awesome too. Yeah, like the movie parts of this game were amazing too. And um, one part that I feel that they kind of skipped out on that could have been pretty cool was um, was there. There's later in the game that I'm not gonna spoil, but you do go back in time. Uh, there would have been like a great moment if your character ran into himself and it never happened. So it's like I'm not really spoiling anything. Like the only thing I spoiled was like he going back in time. <clears throat> but um, it it was a uh, it was a missed opportunity that would have been pretty cool. But I'm not gonna lie, all in all, the game kind of ended good for how it was. They brought characters that were in the. Uh, Fuck, what's it called? They, they they brought characters that were in the one thing, like the uh, the cutscenes, to um to life here, and um it was really it was really awesome. Like I, I liked seeing seeing Liam Burke as a character on here, but it's kind of sad how you see him, I guess, I and that. um. Excuse me. You get to see Charlie also, the the nerd guy, in in um, in the game also. I don't know. I don't even know what the. Light it's just, it, it's really it. sad how you see him in game too. It's a sanctuary designed to shelter oh, there we go. Everything a turned off again. There we go. We're good. Weather the storm until they can develop a solution. But yeah, it's just, it's sad how, like, the shit that happens to Charlie, but I'm not spoiling it, because it's, like, later down the road. I'd be on that list, right? Not in the I always thought that he was such a piece of shit, but then later they make him such a decent character. And, uh... And yeah, it's you know pretty. Uh, it's pretty crazy with this game. It's like a lot of crazy plot twists, like um, like Alan Wake did. The idea of God. Simply the idea. Boom! Fuck you. A being with that much power. 
I love the ability to take I, I love the first freedom. pistol. The first pistol is the control. best. But you'd be feared. Because it, it's too but accurate, and that's what makes it yeah, good. People believe it. Also down here, people believe in Paul, so if people are looking for this to be a... Uh, 100% guide. There's so a thing scary, down right? here, a chronon thing. Isn't this control, but right I still haven't like picked up every single thing or whatever. And um, you know what? I might actually go back through here and pick this stuff Paul up because um, yeah, I already it's pretty much like beat the game. Oh, I can't go back here. Okay, we're closed off. Yeah, over there is a chronon thing. Name and time. I'm going to look and see, can I go over here? Because last time I played, I just ran we risk right much. to the we thing. Keys to the kingdom in one man's so I'm guessing this is the only way we in. Yeah, the gunfights were amazing. Like This game survival. reminded me a lot it's of the Matrix. Survival, and, must and that's what gave me like the whole, cold like, cold wow, cold this cold game cold. is super sick it isn't. type of thing. But um, I, I really hope this game isn't going to be like, uh, oh, hardcore DLC oriented, kind of like how What's It Called was. Like how Alan Wake was. Like that's how they pretty much completed the story. And also too, that is another game I'm going to be playing on my channel is Alan Wake because I've never actually played all the, um, <clears throat> what do you call it? I need to go yeah, I've never actually played all the DLCs for Alan Wake, and I heard they were really good. I just played the main game. But, uh, yeah, how you can beat this guy is you just run up behind him and spray him. And also, some of your moves don't work on this, on this type of enemy. So, time stopping him or whatever, that doesn't work anymore. But you can dash around him and shoot him. And I think I killed him. Yeah, he's dead. Sorry, bro. And now I grabbed everything here, because this room's pretty much fucking empty. But yeah, um, that, that's a game I really did want to play on my channel. Like, way back when, when it first came out, was Alan Wake. Because uh, I was such a, like, big fan. And, like, that was one of the games I know life the shit out of. And I never actually got to play Undead Nightmare. Or, not Undead Nightmare, fuck. Um, American Nightmare. Sorry, I was thinking about two different games. Yeah, I never got to play American Nightmare. And I heard that was alright, but it wasn't, like, the best. Because it was, it was like, an arcade title. It was kind of like, um... What's that game called? It was kind of like, uh... Dead Rising. Like, Cave Zero, and then the other one. Been running Dr. Amaro's like it was just like another part of the game, so it was like, man, that's cool. Just and all, give but... me a time. The Joyceville could collapse but, within uh, eight hours. Yeah. There's a shit ton of lore around here that I've already grabbed, now, so I'm just gonna like pass through it. And uh, we need that thingamajiggy right there, because it stops people from getting uh, frozen in time. And there, now we can head to the party. Yeah, I've, I've always wanted to, like, play those DLCs, because I heard they were really, 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 really good. But to me, what I would kind of rate this game would be, like, 9 out of 10. Charlie. Or, like, 8.5 out of 10. Yeah. Hey, bud. Because um, there, there's right. still a lot of things that I haven't Just really learnt from protocol, this game, and um, I kind of wish like I I, I knew more. But it, it feels like they're not even going the to is, like explain it. I guess. It, it's pretty much fucked. Because um, yeah. I can get us on the list. All of this entire island is on lockdown. How are we gonna do that? I don't know how to get in here. Can I can I just grab it through up top here? I don't think they can. All right, if you are lying to me this time, I swear to God. But um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just very um. I don't know why you're doing this. Like I, I still got questions, and this game didn't answer them. And that's kind of the same with Alan Wake. Alan Wake ended the same, where it was just like, hey man. You know, there, there's still so much more you I'm haven't you figured out yet by the DLCs. Or we're not even gonna explain it. Kind of like this game. 
So if you get in the way of me protecting her, I swear to fucking God. This game did the time, exact same bloody thing. You will not catch your breath. Lead the way. But, um, compared to Alan Wake in this game, this game feels a lot more, um, like, what do you call it? Ah, R&D. <laughs> this game feels a lot more, um, like, action-packed and quick-paced compared to how Alan Wake was more of a, like, slow and steady, you know, you're, you're not gonna be doing crazy shit like flash kicks and doing whatever. And that's what I kind of liked about this game, how it was just like, man, you can just pick up and play. And any style of gameplay works for you. Like, you can be a guy that, like, sits in the back and just time stop, shoot, time stop, shoot. Like, you know, it's like, there, there's so many play styles, but then Alan Wake was just more of, like, what you're gonna do is just flash this guy, because you have to, and then you're gonna shoot him. Like, there wasn't really too much in between, I guess. <clears throat> And when this game speeds up is now, because this is when you learn the the dash punch. And, um, like, the, the teleport thing, like, dashing forwards and backwards. Excuse me. That was, that was good, I guess. But, um, this opened up a whole new door of, like, you just shitting on your enemies. That's what I really liked about this game. And, like, not even shitting on Alan Wake, because Alan Wake, like, came out first, and it's kind of hard Come to shit on that game because of how awesome it was. And and to me, it was, like, I probably got to say that was one of my favorite Xbox titles was just Alan Wake. It's time for you to rejoin So I, like, I can't even shit on it. To return to the infinite. Because it, it was such a like good series while it lasted. And and remember when I said, hey, I was going to use that sniper rifle soon? Yeah, I'm going to use it soon, just not now. <laughs> because um, later in this level, we got to take out snippers. And, um, and the weird thing about this is uh, the sniper is like a DMR. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie, but for, for this game, for what it is, it's it's really good. Like, it definitely hit home for all those nostalgic, like, movie movie titles and all that. Like, it just, it, it, it really just did did the job that it was trying to do, and they, they kicked ass with it. Another thing I found out, that bubble shield is, like, your best friend in the harder difficulties. Oh wait, no, I want my carbine back. And same with your pistol. Your pistol's, like, just, just awesome. Like, it's not even worth picking up the heavy pistol, because, man, I tried using the heavy pistol, and it just sucks. Like, in a game like this, I kind of prefer having, um, what do you call it? A more accurate al alternative to strength. And that's what I find really funny, because um, I'm usually the guy that's always like Deagle, Deagle all the way, or 45 caliber all the way. Like any gun that did super amounts of damage, yeah, I was like, dude, that's my type of gun. And also I'm gonna pick this up. I gave this gun too much shit. And it's like probably my like favorite SMG in the game, and it's the first. I, I hate the uh, the special SMG they give you where it's burst fire, you just go I hate it, it's, it sucks. But a good pistol is if, if you're a person that likes having a, um, a multi-firing pistol, it would be the first pistol. First pistol's pretty good, I enjoy it. It's just, um, I prefer the Glock, just because it's like... Instead of one three rampers, two three rampers, three 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 rampers. 
Sorry, I'm forgetting where I'm going. Where we're supposed to be going. But, uh, yeah. I, I really liked the burst gun, too. Okay? And it kind of depends, like, the mood, you know what I mean? Like, for near, like, the later chapters, I was mostly the using the burst ground. round pistol. Hey, no, 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 we're with Monarch. Find what where do the you R&D. understand? There we go, that's where we're supposed to go. Hey, Sorry no, no, no. about that, I'm hey, just talking I'm because, you know, I've played through guy. this already. And just have a good when conversation, it's kind of nice. Who's she? She's a chronon scientist. She's important. We have to get her back to Monarch right away. Please. The fuck out of here. Now! Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to go through here. Whoops. Gibson. I got the bird. Fiona! 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 You gotta listen! Hey! Ah. Oh, shit! You killed him! And here, oh. this is where pretty much my shit hey. fucked up beforehand, so... I didn't so. know that they were gonna kill him. What was I supposed to do? Huh? You let me on and then you kidnapped me. It's about you, Charlie! Are you stealing this car? Just get the fuck out of here. No, you're gonna need me. Yeah, I just, I, I, I really don't like the burst guns. Yeah, like, the burst guns aren't too Why great in this game. you open your eyes? The world and it's kind of surprising, to too. Like, I, to me, I was yeah, more surprised that the burst guns weren't super good. Fuck you. Fuck you, guy. I love this fucking run punching thing. Yeah, like the tactical SMG can suck the I'll biggest dick that. ever, because it's it's fucking yeah. terrible. Fuck. It is it is honest to god terrible. And for me, it's like I'm kind of the guy that prefer. Oh shit! I'm sorry. I am the type of guy that prefers a SMG really that will I spit can. out a fuck ton of rounds and be super, um... Shit. There we go. Perfect. Did I miss anything here? I'm sure I didn't miss anything here, but I see my thing doing the, uh... Oh, yeah, no, I forgot. Up there, where I was before, there's a... a cluster. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. But that's why I was just blinking. Because, uh, yeah, I, I had a cluster up there. And also, too, if you guys don't know why, um, Paul hasn't found, uh... Can I, can I not? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why Paul Commander hasn't Davis. found Jack yet is because Beth threw Davis him Edmonton. off his trail. They're Why can't I men. get up there? That's how I got up there last time. Well, you know, I'm going to try something different. Why can't he jump up there? Because I, I was able to jump on top of the car and to oh. just... Do, do what, what I'm about supposed my to do. Alright, here, you know, I'm gonna try something different. You know what this means. You don't know for sure. I'm a dead man! Maybe this was the right way it was supposed to be happen! done. But for me, Jack, what, how I, like, it must have glitched then for me, because I jumped up, held on top, to pulled my up. dude up, and jumped over. Until the end. But whatever, what can you do? Joyce and Wilder. And here, I'll let you guys mean? listen to this. Is who got them in the Kim's lab? She paid a visit while she was thought to be missing minutes before the explosion. I'm disappointing. They're like, I'm. Where I'm disappointed Paul. that um, Paul didn't have a better boss Paul. fight. Paul. For Listen minor me. spoilers, his boss fight it's was an ass boss. Who she really is. Where he this threw out a shit gift. ton of enemies hey, at you. She's trying to destroy and she's um, trying to help me. Oh, that was it. He would launch his his you. spell his shit at you because he the could. Man I know. And yeah. 
blinded by a And also here, life. just to give you some lore about what happened here. Holy fuck, somebody took a shot at Hatch. I, I called him Hutch oh, through like the whole thing. Sophia's loyal. Uh, what the fuck's She's going on, inside. whatever. And the reason why he wanted to get shot, loyal. these guys will tell you about. You need to think about this. If the fracture's happening now, I owe this to her. So pretty much what he was doing, um, he, he wanted to tr to get... Also there's a Cronon thing right up here. But um, the, the reason why he took a shot at himself was because um, he wasn't liking how Paul was doing his shit, so he pretty much was like, "Yeah, we're we're gonna like, we're gonna make it look like he's losing his control, he's losing his grip, because um, Hatch has been out to fuck Paul over ever since." I'm afraid we have no time. That's pretty much what it was. And also, minor spoilers: Hutch has the powers of both of our characters because he was the first person to be in, in that thing. <laughs> like, to be honest, Hatch reminds me of the Ocelot of, of Metal Gear in this game. <laughs> that That's who Hatch reminds me as. You weren't expecting somebody this handsome, right? Unfortunately, Mr. Serene is just... Because he's, um, he's not a good guy or a bad guy. He's just there. And he's not hey, good. I'm glad you could make it. I was just telling and you also the thing that we're doing you. right now is to getting Sophia so she can help us with, um, go. Go. What's the rush? with making us go back in time. And then look what's right about to happen. She's about to get her head fucking taken off by the plane. Also, there is a Cronon thing over here. So yeah, we're gonna go save her. I'm sorry that it looks like I'm just skipping over, like, every bit of lore, but it's like, for this level, I have, like, every bit of lore, so... <laughs> And also, too, it's like, um, I, I've, I've actually skimmed over most of, most of it, and it's, like, book lengths, pretty much, so, like, what I suggest, too, is, like, since YouTube and, um, my thing, it would take forever for me to read through everything, so just look it up yourself, or find somebody to explain it a bit better. And also, uh, Hatch also planned the thing to try to kill her. they do more with this game because it's it's a really good game and I'm still a little disappointed how it ended. And I know I keep saying that and it's Everybody like um 
that this is an episode from the future, but it's like, man, it's, it's, uh, I'm, I'm, it's, it's, it's hard not to say because I've already beat it. And also my other episodes, like, I won't be like, oh, you know, oh my god, like, this shit happening, look at that. Like, like I said, this is an episode from the future. Like, it kind of sucks now that I know what the ending is and I had to replay this, but hey, man, you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't want to upload this episode and it to be fucked or, like, missing almost like an hour's worth of gameplay. I would walk down the street because it was the only two nights at the park. And the funny thing is, this is the one let's play that gave me the most trouble. And I told myself that is the fucking hilarious thing about it. Fucking year. If mom had if they gave me structure, you give me purpose. I did this to protect you. I did this to protect yeah, this is the one let's play that gave me the most fucking trouble for stupid shit. Something terrible is coming. Oh wait, I forgot. That's a uh, turret. If you would just let me, if you would just let me protect you. There we go. On my side. Please. Okay, that's a big guy. go perfect i'm gonna take a shotgun too because why not i love the fucking pump action shotgun also a thing that i love about this game you can just wiggle the bodies around like just because you feel like it it's kind of, it's kind of disappointing because um when, when you fuck with them too much like you can make their bodies like jiggle around but then they they reset just because you know they it, it got glitched out. Yeah, it's Pierce. I'm at the perimeter lab. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. Yeah, the fucking heavy pistol sucks, man. It's the fucking worst. I want him apprehended. Yeah, here, let me see if I can glitch him out. Immediately. <laughs> it looks so fucking stupid. <laughs> the fucking physics, though. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, we have to, uh... There we go. And this was the part I was going to need my rifle. Because, yeah, the rifle just comes, like, super in handy on this. And because I haven't got a badass punch in a while, boom, just fuck him up. There we go, perfect. Perfect. I love this fucking SMG. It is the best gun in the game. For your time stop, it is the best. And then there, this is pretty much the, the part that got fucked up. And, um, yeah, so this would be episode 7. Yeah, yeah, this will be episode 7. And the best thing about this is, but my, like, my favorite part about this chapter is you get to steal his Lambo. It's the best.
and I'm gonna skip this so I don't get a copyright uh, copyright strike. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe and give a friend today. Um, it's it's a little weird how this is, I guess, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed.